All right, chat. You liked our tier list last time for hand cannons. And here we are again, another tier list, but this time pulse rifles, which is actually perfect considering we just had pulse rifle changes disclosed to us in the most recent TWAB. Do y'all want me to rank them? Ah, it's so difficult. Do we rank pulse rifles based on what they are currently doing or what we think they're going to do? We're going to start with PVP first. I'm going to do current. This is pre update coming next week, October the 18th. So pre festival of the loss 2022, we're going to do PVP first and then we're going to do PVE. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and just be straight with you. You're going to dislike what I, what I rank here. We'll start with that. Start with that. Uh, with that. 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 Oh, I know it. You're like, dude, what the f <laughs> That. 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 Um. Mm, we'll do that. Mm. That. It's got Desperado. I have to. That. Yeah. Mm. 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 Eh, I'll put it right there. Um, actually, really good. That. Um, that. That. And I'm throwing a lot in the S tier category. Actually, B tier. That. God dog, too much shit in the S tier column. Um. Honestly. No, it's not meta. Insidious at S? Yeah, Insidious. Fantastic. Well, I could put it at A tier. But I think it's the best aggressive, without a doubt. Smite at it? Yo, Cross, you're bugging. Bruh! <laughs> Bruh! These are fantastic you, pulse rifles. What are you talking about? Right now, what do dude. you mean? Damn! Yes, dude, yours is way better than Smite. What? Okay, okay. Okay. But you can get a craftable version of it. <laughs> Dude, your list is so. <laughs> would you? Would, what would you do? You do you. You do you. Hey. Well, bad juju is definitely going to D. I mean, that shit. That shit does not belong to B. Whoa! It gets super. Okay. Okay. I'll put. I'll put. Um. What's that? What's the um? Is that? I don't like this. My brain has already moved to next you week's you, sandbox. Oh wait, is this current or is this next week? It's supposed to be current, but but. Half these weapons. <sighs> okay. Okay. Chat. You do, you do, you do, you do. I want to rank this the way I am looking at next week's sandbox. Okay. I can't. I know we have current, but in my brain, I'm already in next week. Now leave me the f alone. <laughs> and render that. Uh, yeah, that's next week's sandbox. Honestly, agree though. Yep. <laughs> yep. All right. On a, on a real note, on a real note, this is based on next week's sandbox. Okay. No time to explain. When is it getting its its nerf? Next week. It is getting its nerf next week. Mm -hmm. I still think it's going to be a tier. But isn't it getting a, isn't it getting an individual nerf? It's getting a stability nerf and an Amos. No, and an Amos is nerf. They reduce the recoil stat from ninety to seventy three. Yes. And then there's a blanket change that's hitting pulse rifles that have, if they're on the low end of stats, they're going to be hurting a lot more. Okay. I think no time to explain is still going to be A tier. All right. We'll put bad juju at C tier. That makes less happier. No, I, do you? Oh, I'm generally curious. The, the XR is, what do you think the meta is going to be? I like it at S tier. I think yester, yesteryear, depending on how substantial the, the 390 changes, can be S tier next week. I also think, like, hold on. What what is the roles you can get on Smiter Moraine for PvP? I the storm and killing wind. I think are like the best roles for PvP. Is that the best combination you can get? Oh, you get moving target. Sorry, I'm not not killing wind. Moving target. I the storm. That's a pretty dang good role. That is. I mean, I, 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 I think the debate for me next week is gonna in in regards to legendaries is gonna be yesteryear versus Smite. Yeah, legal action, guys. I mean, that's just not doing it for me. Uh, Darkest before. Time War Spire. 
Isn't there a range nerf coming to uh, rapid fires, Jen? Oh, that seems so strange. Oh, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. I think Darkest Before is such a good pulse rifle. However, Time War Spire has zoom. Yeah, but it has zoom. It has range. Horus Lee's A tier. Peace of Mind, A tier. Ah, here we go. Just a damage fall off scale. Okay. 16 to 15. All right. So, I still think Peace of Mind and Horus Lee's are still going to be great. Primarily because Peace, you can get the craftable version. Horus Lee's, you can get the adept version. Um, Jurassic Green down there. Graviton Lance down there. Really? Yeah. Here's the thing, Cross. Jurassic Green is going to get new roles next week. So it could get like perpetual motion, like, and some cracked shit. Yeah, but in comparison to Horace Lease and Peace, I just yeah, don't, true. I just don't think they, I, I just don't think it can compete. Ranking these, I think it definitely comes in under Darkest Before and even Time Warm Spire. And the only reason why Time Warm Spire is this B tier is because of its zoom. Cold Denial is actually one of the best villain pulse rifles in the game. It just has really shite range, guys. That's really shite range. Um, what is this? This is a Nurgle. What is this pulse rifle, guys? Agma. Agma. Okay. Agma's a lightweight. Dude, YouTube, YouTube audience is going to be like, dude, what the freak? Why is Cross randomly looking at made outfits? Um, there's a sub goal going on. Refer to that. Okay. Yeah, I've got Agma there. Syncopation. I'm going to say... Oof, oof, oof. Do we put Syncopation at S tier? That's going to be the actual comparison to Smite because they're both craftable. It's craftable. It feels good. It's a Soros yeah, Synergy it weapon. Good. You can roll uh, moving targets and heads and Head Seeker on it. It's, but Head Seeker's not getting its buff next week, though. No. It's next season that Head Seeker's getting its buff. Mm, okay. Single patient can roll range finder. I, this is a tough one. I think moving target head seeker, craftable for single patient is going to be fantastic. And next season, it will be S tier. Next season, it will be S tier. Uh, premonition, I want to love it. I really do. Uh, because I love it, I should put it at B tier. Okay, what y'all say? Um, Give me just a second. Hold on. This is such a shitty tier list guide right now because I am jumping all over the place. All right. I've kept nothing but PVE rolls, and it is a fantastic PVE, PVE pulse rifle. Well, let me go look at this. This is a 390. It can roll with firmly planted rampage or range finder. I just don't think it's going to have it, guys, for PVP. You know what I mean? We'll keep it there at B tier. Sacred Providence, B tier. Insidious A tier. It's less complained so much. What's what? <laughs> what's what's the name of the Iron Banner Pulse Rifle? Forges Forges Pledge. This too is an adaptive frame. Skulking Wolf got a buff. You can roll things like surplus elemental capacitor on it. I think I need to throw it up here in the uh, the A tier category. Third Axiom. I'll keep it at B tier because you can get surplus on it. Outbreak to me is is still an A tier weapon. Vigilance Wing. Still B tier. B -tier. Still two bursts. Um, Messenger. Oh, man, dude. I think Messenger is going to get really... It's going to get hit hard. Not as hard as others, but it's going to get hit hard next week with the handling changes. Um, The Dungeon Pulse. I'm going to put it there at B tier. And this is based on next week. I love stars. I really do. But I think the handling nerf... At least Messenger is adept and you can bump those stats up a little more. These two are going to get hit hard. Grid Skipper. Um, I like Grid. I'll keep it here. Shattering. Here. Last Perdition. But last... Well, here's the thing. Depending on how much of a buff 390s are really, really feeling next week. How good they feel. One thing Last Perdition has over all the other Pulse Rifles. Over Smite yesteryear all of them is that it has scopes keep that in mind guys it can roll with scopes 
it can affect that zoom. It's got a hell of a lot of reach. Guys, that's our PvP list. This is Trash Cross. I don't care. What's that bottom pulse that D tier? What is that? That's the uh um... the Europa one? Yeah, that's the Europa one. Is that a 450 or a 390? I don't know. It's so shit that I don't even like. <laughs> if there were, if there was a really an F tier, it would be there. Peace of mind is A tier. Hey, listen, guys. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. You know, I could be wrong. Maybe Rapids won't get hit as hard by the nerf. Maybe they won't. All right. And maybe, just maybe, Rapids actually will feel pretty damn good. But as far as what I've seen from the changes in the TWAB, all right, um, they have naturally less handling than other archetypes. Therefore, your pulse rifle is going to be feeling much slower. Now, by 2%. But still, still, and of course, the damage fall off by a meter. We'll just see how if 390s can overshadow um, Rapids or not. And if not, if Rapids don't feel any different, if next week everything is, we're just, we're just a trucking along, then yeah, the debate would be between Horace Lease or Peace of Mind, uh, which one of those goes to the S tier category. If I had to choose which one of these is the best, if I had to choose the best rapid fire pulse rifle to put in the S tier category, I would 100% not put peace of mind. I would put Horace at least there. Okay. No! Look at this. Peace of mind has an out of band zoom stat that allows it to compete at longer ranges than what we expected for the subfamily. So it will be the first of multiple zoom outliers we'll be looking at bringing in line over the next season. So, peace of mind may still be really, really good next week, but we do know a nerf is on the horizon for it. Keep that in mind. All right. PVE. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty good list, though. You have transcended to that form with that list. Yes. Just want you to know. Yes. Where is my favorite PvE pulse? Oh. I don't care what any of y'all say. Gene is so good in PvE. Okay. Uh -huh. Agreed. Well, hold on. I've got Graviton and S tier. But Les, would you agree that Collective Obligation has replaced it? It's power corrupted. Yeah. yeah. It's still good though. It's really it's good. But if I had to decide between one of those with 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 Void 3.0, collective all day, guys. Vorpal on it is pretty nice though. Oh, it does have. Oh, I know, I know. I just both of these are so similar. They're both they Void. Very... If I had to choose which one to roll a build with, especially Collective Obligation just got the buff, and Bad Juju is probably B tier to be honest with you guys. Yeah, I kind of ranked that a little too high. Time War Spire, A tier. Got Vorpal on it. Time War is Doggy Doo Doo. Okay, it's a Kinetic and it can roll Vorpal. Okay. All right. Okay. Headstone. All right. Um, A tier. What is Insidious PvE rolls? It's pretty good. I, I use... I use... One for all, Dragonfly. I use Insidious in PvE. Let's look at Hell and Confusion real quick for PvE. Demolitionist Outlaw. Hmm. What is BXR's PvE rolls? Incandescent, kill clip. <laughs> I gotta put it at S2. Incandescent. It's an automatic win. Chad, do you understand how I go about doing things? Arc. Solar. Void. Kinetic. That's your S tier list. Everything else is as follows. It's, fu it's weird that you have Insidious at A and, and G and 7 at S2. Disruption break. 
Yeah, it's, but that's situational. It's a situation I find myself in a lot less. Yeah? How often is it uh, anti-barrier pulse? Oh, that and arc shields. My Wither Horde combo is fantastic with it. Insidia is definitely better than the GN. Is this y'all's list? Huh? GN7 is not trash. You want to know how many I'm kills saying, I have with my GN7? Millions! I'm just saying. Where are you, GN? The last light blade video you made, you had Insidious on and not GN. Yeah, but here's what's so f***ed up, Les. Here's what's so f***ed up. I don't even use my craftable Insidious. I use this Adept Insidious. Oh, insidious though, what? <laughs> Isn't that f***ed up? I have a craftable Insidious with enhanced perks. <laughs> Yet, I use my Adept Insidious. You're hopeless. Fine. I just want to. If it's anti barrier pulse, GN7 is the best. I just, I just want to point out every time we have anti barrier pulse rifle, GN7 with disruption break is fantastic. Oh, 100% agree with you. Fantastic. But, okay. For the, for the sake of just killing to kill, Insidious here. I will say, though, the last time pulse rifles were anti barrier was before Arbalest got anti barrier rounds. So. So you're saying that we wouldn't take advantage of it? I don't think we would use GN7 as much as we say. We might if we need to use like Galahorn or something, but I think we would just take Arbalus any day of the week. Mate, I beg. Peace of mind is enhanced auto loading and board point. GM is huge for champs. Yeah, I, I know where you're coming from, man. I know where you're coming from. Hold on, hold on. Let me go look at peace of mind real quick. I just don't use rapids in PVE, guys. They burn through the mag too quick. They burn through the mag too quick. The reload is poor. The oh, Okay, okay. Well, I will say this. I love land tank. The problem is, is we don't have the artifact mod buff with land tank. If we had artifact mod buff with land tank, I'd put peace of mind at B tier. It does come with Vorpal, though. You are, you are right there. Overflow as well. Or auto loading. Okay. Um. Yeah. I got BXR up here, guys, because of Incandescent, fellas. Okay, don't get me wrong. I love Ogma. If I had to choose Ogma every day for the most part, but if I'm leaning into Solar 3.0, BXR, Incandescent. I like explosions. I like Embloomies. Smiter Moranus, Demolition Adrenaline Junkie. Okay, listen. You guys, this is my list. I'm done. I'm not making any more adjustments. I'm not making any more adjustments. This is the list. I know. Like 90% of y'all do not like this list. But I'm not attacking you guys. For y'all's shite opinions. Am I? No. <laughs> I'll break it at NS. Interesting. Outbreak? At S tier? Yeah. I mean, dude. Is it, is it still really good? I haven't used it in a while. I don't know. I mean, Les, what happens in every raid when people start getting damage checked? Oh, that's true. Yeah. We just pulled that shit on. We, right. I mean, you gotta have Outbreak. It actually came in clutch for us as well. For Val. Remember, so. remember Caretaker? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. We will be doing submachine guns next, everybody. And we will continue doing tier lists. We'll do a raid tier list. We'll do an auto rifle tier list. We'll we'll do a PvP wife <laughs> a waifu tier list, a PvP map tier list, a strike tier list. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.